What's up guys, Mike here, and we are starting up the Backlog Battle of a Lifetime that I have been wanting to get into for ages here on the channel. You guys already know how much I love Mario Kart 64, and I've already done an original playthrough of that game, but we have never touched this game on the channel. So I am looking forward to bringing you coverage of this game, but I am not covering this game alone. Hopefully he doesn't miss his cue this time. So, for our Diddy Kong Racing co-op playthrough, introduce yourself, buddy. Oh, hey. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Uh, I'm sorry, just, uh, trying to, like, unmute the, uh, desktop audio over here. That's all good. Yeah, if you guys don't know my buddy Moon the Maple, he joined me for Super Mario Kart. He is back again for Diddy Kong Racing, and, uh, I'm pretty sure he's just as hyped as I am for, uh, finally covering this game on my channel. No, I, I am seriously hyped for this. Like, uh, sorry, sorry for the delay, like, delay again. I was like trying to like watch uh, your uh, big intro too, but like, um, no, it's all good. It happens. Things up. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you, Mike, for letting me join you for this. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, I am Moonlit Maple. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I play a bunch of games, like ranging from games on the Switch to PS4 to Xbox One, mainly focusing on the Switch. But like, I'm trying to branch out to like other to other titles. And, uh, yeah, just gonna be playing through the story mode for Diddy Kong Racing. This was my favorite game growing up, and I'm just you and me both, ecstatic. Like, it, no, it's, hard, it's hard for me to say that, like, I think this, I can't, like, say that one is better than the other, but both Mario Kart 64 and this have a special place in my heart, but I'm finally glad that we're finally tackling this on the channel for everything. No, but seriously. You guys, but you seriously. guys are probably wondering, how are we possibly gonna be able to do the adventure mode for just two people, but... We actually have this thing called magic codes here, and one of the codes happens to be this. So if you guys ever want to play with a buddy, all you have to do is type this in, and you guys will be able to do two-player co-op for adventure mode. Now, I forget exactly how this works. Do you know exactly how it works with the joint venture? Maple. Yeah, honestly, by the way, this might be. Oh, oh that, that that was weird. Yeah, uh, it was weird. I was asking, the, do you know how the joint ven do you know how the joint venture exactly works for uh, Diddy Kong Racing? Oh, actually, uh, I might just need a second. For some reason, my stream just disconnected. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it, it's been it's been doing this like on and off every now and then. Uh, but yeah, I, I've I've never actually done the joint venture before. Like, uh, usually, like, um, yeah, like, on the N64, I would just play it on my own and just, like, play multiplayer races with, uh, other friends. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna both find out how this works together, but I believe the way it works is that as you're going through races, we take turns going through the hub world and stuff, so you're probably just gonna be kicking back while I go through the hub world, and then as it goes back and forth, we'll both take turns traveling through the hub world and stuff, but, uh, yeah, f who are we picking for our first characters? Because we're going to use all the characters throughout for each world. Uh, I think it would probably make sense to, like, try and... Well, I, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards, like, doing, like, maybe, like, some of, like, the heavier characters first. Because, like, those are the ones that are, like, the most difficult. Yeah, I can agree. Especially for how it gets later on. Believe it or not, as much as I love Banjo, and this was his first appearance, by the way, I'm going to probably admit this now, but he's not my best character in uh, Diddy Kong Racing, but I'm still happy that he's here anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with Banjo first, so go ahead. Alright, I guess I'll go with Crunch then. Get get, get the worst out of the way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start on file A. I'm, and fuck, we're just gonna call it... Let's see. Oh, we can't do that. Actually, let me see if I can... Maybe like stretch out. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, Eminem. Yeah, Mike and Maple. There you go. But yeah, who, for those that don't know the story of Diddy Kong Racing, there's an actual plot to this game. So Diddy Kong and his friends are on Timber Island, and it's been taken over by the evil Whiz Pig, the guy whose statue that is. So basically, we decided to get help from the genie of the island, Taj. That's totally not an Indian stereotype whatsoever. 
and basically <laughs> try to go around the island trying to gather these golden balloons in order to take on Whizpig and restore peace and prosperity to the land. Pretty much, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys. We're gonna let you guys enjoy the freaking horrible Indian stereotype that Taj is. That probably would not be allowed to be getting <laughs> gotten away with in 2019. Uh, cringe. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I missed the original voice of, voice of Taj, because I guess throughout this playthrough, we're gonna probably end up talking about the remake also that they did on 3DS. Oh, I right. never played oh, wait, no, the no, no. Oh, no, it was actually on the regular Nintendo DS. Right, regular DS. Damn, that's how old this game is. Jeez. Alright, well, as you can see, uh, Crunch is in the top right corner, so we know that that's where Maple, that's Maple's character. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we, so we can easily go inside and collect that one balloon and get started with our adventure. But, you know, we actually are going to just go ahead and collect all the secret balloons of the island. So in order to do that, we have to become a plane. Uh, okay. actually, I, should, I should probably introduce that first. So this game is very unique in the fact that it has all different vehicles. we got cars. we got hover boats, hovercrafts that can float on water, and we have planes. So, yeah, we're going to... Pick the plane. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just grab this balloon. Or hit the wall and completely fail. Alright, we'll get that one last. Oh, Billy, hey, Billy, welcome to the stream. Glad hey. you could make it. How you doing tonight? By the way, for those that are watching this on YouTube as it's going up, we are playing this live on Twitch right now, so definitely follow both of our Twitch channels. Links in the description. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Peely, uh, I'm doing a big multi-stream Let's Play of Diddy Kong Racing. Both of us are uh, just going to be playing through the story mode for this game, and like, I I love this game to death. I know Mike does too. Like, this has just been like seriously like a huge plan like in the making like since way back, probably like in spring. Like we we came up with this idea. Oh yeah. Um, by the way, for those wondering, we are playing this online good. together Thanks, really. through Parsec. Also, by the way. So if you guys ever want to play N64 games and other stuff online, Parsec is your program to go to. Oh yeah, Mystic, I hear you on that. Like, I used to play this game when I was, like, ah, oh, so young. Actually, oh, I, I think, like, whenever I, I guess whenever I talk, the game audio just goes down. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Anyway, we have all the balloons that we got from around the island. Those are all the secret balloon locations. Yeah, I guess that's good, though. Um... But yeah, uh, Pilly, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Um, just to let you guys know, actually, Mike, is it okay if I do a? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you can talk about it now if you want, real quick. Yeah. Um, so, uh, guys, uh, way back in September, uh, I decided to do a series of charity streams for a very important cause that's like very close to me. Um, as you guys might have heard uh, way back when, uh, there were some news reports of uh, the Amazon rainforest, basically like basically like erupting in flames like there's just like forest fires just kind of ravaging the entire area and like I, I just couldn't like sit back and do nothing like hearing about this so like i wanted to do a series of charity streams to help protect like wildlife protect the environment and uh, i decided to start up a charity stream for this organization called rainforest trust if uh, any of you guys want to make a donation for the cause like i would really appreciate it. Um, we have the command up in chat right now, um, exclamation mark charity. If you guys want to just throw in like any amount of cash, like even a dollar counts. And even if you don't have money, like um, even just sharing the link and just spreading awareness is, is just worth so much. Like, and I really appreciate any help that you guys can provide. So basically this helps out the funding of like repairing the rainforest, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like it, it helps like raise money for the organization. They help raise money for the Amazon rainforest, and not just Amazon rainforest, but also like all kinds of wildlife and forests like all around the world. They have like various projects that they're working on. That's fantastic. And by the way, I'm pretty sure by the time this goes up on YouTube, the charity link, the charity might have ended. But you guys can also go to rainforesttrust.org. Also, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this playthrough. Also, we are going to dedicate this entire playthrough towards Rainforest Trust. Mm -hmm. and, and Mike, again, like, thanks so much for like letting me uh, do this as like part of our co-op stream. No, I mean, what better game can we pick? I mean, we're we're racing around the freaking island as a bunch of woodland creatures, so you know, yeah, go exactly. 
I, I mean, I, I was originally doing this, going to do this with uh, Breath of the Wild, but like time constraints, I, I couldn't fit it in my schedule. So hence the reason for Tree Force Trust. Oh yeah, <laughs> as the campaign name. But yeah, uh, thanks, P. Like, I, I'm glad you appreciate it. Oh yeah. Like, re really hoping that we can make something big out of this. So yeah, we are also now here in the hub world of uh, each of the four. Well, there's multiple worlds that we have hub worlds for. Uh, this guy that we're talking to right now is TT, the amazing clock that we call to play as, but I'll try to unlock him in bonus videos if we can pull that off. Anyway, mm -hmm. this is this is all the stuff that we have to pretty much take care of. We have a whiz pig amulet, a TT amulet, some trophies, and some keys to find. Okay. So we have our work cut out for us. So basically, for yeah. each of the worlds that we're going to be going through, there's four doors for each of the tracks, a trophy room, a uh, boss room right over here, because yes, there are bosses in this game. And mm -hmm. a special room over here, which we're going to find out what that is a little bit later. But for now, we have our very first level, Ancient Lake. So as yeah, you can I'll, see, I'll, 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 I'm going oh, through sorry. the... Oh. So yeah, I'm going through all the hub world stuff. That, so yeah, I'm, it's one, only one of us driving through, but once we enter the level, both of us can uh, go through the level as well. Yeah, for, for a second I forgot uh, how I mapped the controls. <laughs> So yeah, by the way, I don't think it matters if me or Maple grab the key in here, because each of the levels has a key. Well, one of the levels for each of the worlds has a key. As you can see, I'm already, like, I'm not going to pretend to ignore it. It's right over here. And I completely Oh, wait, wait, what the, what the? Uh, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. Uh, come on, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> and hence the fun for the... Oh, how'd you do that? I was going to say, I wouldn't... There, are, there is a horrible glitch that makes you like completely stay like standing vertically. Yeah, that's right. We're far uh, enough. Uh. <laughs> All right, got it. Oh, damn. <laughs> really, you're already in six. How are they gonna do that? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we end up grabbing a key, and yeah, each of the levels instead of eight racers, we have six. Well, you know, what, Mike, I'm, I'm glad you're able to carry me for that one. Oof. <laughs> yeah, big move indeed. So yeah, every time you win a race, pretty much we get a golden balloon from uh, Taj here, the non-Indian stereotype. <laughs> and yeah, since you collected the four balloons outside, we could already go to all the levels in the first world. But we're going to do them in order. Which is still pretty awesome, though. Oh yeah, without a doubt. No, we need those four balloons, because you'll find out why later on. But if you don't collect those four balloons, it's going to really bite you in the ass later on. Okay, I, I honestly can't wait until... Actually, instead of, like, uh, using Crunch, like, when we get to the boss battle, is it okay if, like, after these four races I switch characters? Because this is just terrible. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like I said, well... Well, no, the rule is... Well, we're going to both suffer with these characters, because I'm not... Ex I love Banjo, but I'm not exactly 100% great with him. We still have to do the next challenge after the regular races, which I'm not going to spoil. Alright, that's true, but, uh, that's true. Yeah, after we do those challenges and fight the boss a second time, then we'll be good to switch. Alright, and uh, by the way guys, if like at any point like uh, the audio seems like too high in some places, too low in others, just uh, let me know and I'll just quickly fix them up. By the way, this is Fossil Canyon, probably one of my favorite levels in terms of Dino Domain, which is the first world, what the first world is called. Honestly, Ma honestly, Mabel, I gotta ask you, how, how much do you love the soundtrack in this game? Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up gushing about the soundtrack for like the entirety of this playthrough. Oh no, I, I, I love the soundtrack. That was like one of the reasons why this is like one of my all-time favorite games. I have the Dino Domain music, which one's your favorite track? Um, it's really hard to tell. Uh, it might... I, don't, I think I might need to hear back, like, a few of these first. Oh, shoot. No, I don't blame you. Because all of Dino Domain's music is top-notch. Come on, get up there, Crunch. Get up there. So, by the way, since we're uh, getting into these races now, I want to start talking about some of the mechanics and stuff that's very interesting. So you see these little zip pads that you see us going around on. So if you just if you're holding the A button while you're going over a zip pad, your flames will be purple and you'll you'll get a decent boost off of them and stuff. But uh, D Kong Racing is a very interesting mechanic where 
if you let go of the acceleration right before you hit a, a boost pad, your sparks turn, your flame turns green, and you get like a rainbow smoke coming out of the back of your car. That actually carries you a lot further than regularly holding the A button on any uh, acceleration pads. Mm hmm. So, yeah, there was some very interesting mechanics that was in this game. They never implemented like Mario Kart or anything like that. Yeah, like it, it's like another thing that like they implemented in this game that uh, they have like the bananas on the track that help like raise your speed. They, they kind of had a similar thing with Super Mario Kart, but I don't think the coins in Super Mario Kart really raised your speed. It was just to kind of keep you from spinning out if you don't yeah, have little, any coins. Yeah, it's a little bit of both, I guess, but not really so much as it is in this game. Also, Jungle Falls has got to be like one of my all-time favorite tracks of this game. The music here and the atmosphere is so amazing. Okay, yeah, Jungle Falls. Okay, I think this would have to be my favorite one. Now, for the Dino Domain, the fact that you can go driving through a dinosaur skull and everything, absolutely love it. Okay, at the very least, I'm going to finish second on this one. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, they, they ended up using jump... So, Diddy Kong Racing DS, since we're talking about the tracks and stuff, Diddy Kong Racing on the DS completely took this track out, music-wise, and made this the credits theme for Diddy Kong Racing Wait, DS. Really? Yes. Um, I I'm, I'm stuck oh, in what the, the hell? <laughs> Ah, that's crazy. Eh, at least I got second. I almost nearly outlapped you, too. Like, Jungle Falls is one of my best tracks. Oh, jeez, really? Matt had... Ah, oh, damn. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to give him a big old nuzzle link when he comes into the meetup tomorrow. <laughs> that sounds good. Also, hello, dear. Also, in terms of set pieces... Hot Top Volcano's gotta have like one of the coolest ones also. Like Hot Top Volcano I think is one of the most genius tracks in terms of everything. You got like that Bollywood type music along with the volcano. Like such this is such a good track too. Yeah. Like I I feel like there really like aren't like any bad tracks in this game. No, there really isn't. Uh, that's a spoiler alert. Yeah, honestly, that's one thing I could say this has over Mario Kart 64, coming from a guy that speedruns the game. This this game has no real bad tracks. The Mario Kart 64 has like one or two of them. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, uh, I missed that. I missed that other power-up. See, so, yeah, by the way, you guys are also realizing that you might be hearing the announcer saying power-up whenever we're running over the same color balloon. If you end up running over the same color balloon more than once, you can actually beef up the, your power-ups. So you can do that up to three times. So if you get three blue balloons, it goes from orange to blue to purple flames. Really cool mechanic for this game's time, and I kind of wish it was something that Mario Kart tried. Yeah, like there, there are very few games that actually tried this mechanic again. But, um, there was I one, think it's a genius uh, mechanic. No, definitely. Like, uh, the only other game that comes to mind that actually attempted to do this mechanic was, uh, Mod Nation Racers on the PlayStation. PlayStation 3. I never played that. Uh, also, you got me on that one. Uh, Pizza Cake, if you're curious what I think are the personal bad tracks in Mario Kart 64, for me, it's only one. Maybe two. Uh, that would be Bowser's Castle and probably Donkey Kong Jungle Parkway. Mm. Now, actually, no, scratch that. Three, Banshee Boardwalk, two. Frig that course. I was like, okay with Fancy Boardwalk. Whenever, whenever I'm speedrunning that game, like I always end up struggling and I always end up uh I always end up screwing up on those three particular tracks. Those are like run killers for me. Also, yeah, ah, ladies okay. and, oh yeah, also ladies and gentlemen, we have opened up the boss door. So as you can see, I am no longer playing. Since Maple beat me in that track, he's able to run around the hub world as uh, Crunch. All right. I just wanted to have like a little like a driving warm up like outside of the race. So so we're uh, jumping into the boss battle next, or did you want to do the? Oh no, uh, we're definitely jumping the key into door. the key door. Now the the key door will save until after we beat the boss two times. All right. So my my goal Let's is go to it. beat the boss the two times, get the whiz pig amulet, and then get the trophy race in the key doors. Well, 
Oh, and by the way, according to the well, in the story, basically Whizpig takes over the entire island by basically um, taking over the minds, I guess, of like all the guardians of the of the island. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's actually good to know. Do we yeah, know? Yeah, the, so... Do we know the names of all the bosses on the island? Uh, I don't think so. I'm, I'm about to go. Look, I'm about to go look it up. I honestly thought that both of us were going to be doing this together. I don't feel comfortable doing this on my own. <laughs> Yo, you got this. <laughs> Yo, I believe in you. I'll try my best, I'll try my best. I believe the name <laughs> of I believe the name of uh, this boss is tricky, the Triceratops. Ah, okay. Also, Maple, you're about to come into a shortcut right over here, so hold on. Yep, yep, I remember this one. Oh yeah, so yeah, if you take a hard left of that bush, not a lot of people know about that shortcut, but it's absolutely crazy. But yeah, maybe good use of uh, good use of shortcut there. Mm-hmm. This is where shit gets a little bit real though, climbing up this mountain, because now, now you gotta really make the, that really tight turn. Although with that shortcut, you're so far ahead of Tricky that it's not even the contest. You should be okay. You shouldn't have any problems beating this. There you go. Yep. By the way, Damn, if you fall off right. the By the way, if you fall off the mountain, that's just it. You just have to redo it over again. Yeah, oh, nice I, 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 I forgot that that was a thing. I'm kind of surprised I got that on my first try. <laughs> So yeah, that is how we get to the boss the second time. All right. I've got something special for you. Oh yeah, also Taj comes out every now and again with some uh, tips and stuff. Uh, yeah, pressing, pressing the brake while skidding makes some really sharp turns. Oh, I actually didn't know that he actually uh, went out and did that for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> 